students, Mama Board here. I want to talk about how we're going to go from our baseline reading speed and how we're going to start spiking our numbers so that we actually have a much improved uh, reading speed rate at the end of this activity. So depending on how many times you're able to do this really determines how much you're going to be able to spike your own personal reading speed. So initially I gave you the task of reading for nine minutes at your most comfortable reading pace as if you were going to get quizzed afterwards, as if we were going to have a class discussion afterwards. And that's what gave you your original baseline reading speed. What you did was you calculated the number of pages you read times words per page, which in our case currently is 300, uh, and then you divide it by nine, and that gives you your words per minute. That is your reading speed, like miles per hour for your eyes. Now what I want you guys and gals to do is um, set a timer of some sort. I like to use a old-fashioned stopwatch, and you're going to set the timer, and you're going to start reading again, and you're always going to read for nine minutes, but what I want you to do this time is instead of reading at your normal, comfortable reading speed, I want you to read at a pace that's slightly faster than comfortable. So let's say this is your normal reading speed. I want you to read just a little bit faster, okay? And what this is going to do is as you read at a pace that is a little bit faster, when you increase your speed, your comprehension goes down. If you increase your speed a lot, your comprehension goes way down. I want your comprehension to go into the basement. I want you to speed up just a little, just a little bit. Just increase your speed just a little bit. Like you're walking fast to class and you don't want to be late. And then at three minutes, I want you to increase your speed again. I want you to boost up that speed just, just a little bit. So if at the beginning you increase just a little bit, at three minutes I want you to go a little faster, and at six minutes I want you to go a little faster. And every time you move your eyes faster, this is speed, every time you move your eyes faster, your comprehension does go down. Um, but again, remember that as we do this over time, your brain, this is your brain, this is your brain on reading, uh, every time you increase your speed, your brain over time learns to compensate. And that is how we will get to the end point where your comfortable reading speed is much higher than it was when we began. So again, first, so here's what you're going to do. You're going to start reading for nine minutes, but you're going to start reading at a pace that's just a little bit faster than usual. And then at three minutes, you're going to go a little bit faster. And then at six minutes, go a little bit faster. And every single time, what you're doing is you're increasing your speed and you're dropping comprehension. But you're just doing it a little bit at the beginning and then a little bit more and then a little bit more. And it's okay if you don't understand what you're reading. The point is the book is kind of a track for your eyes to go over for right now. So it's a time where you can read and not worry about it too much. You should be understanding about 75 to 85% of what you're reading. Um, but you're giving up a little bit of comprehension every single time. So it's a little strange to do at home. I would set a timer on your phone so that you've got uh, got something right there that you can kind of be looking at. Um, and, and just give this a try. Uh, it's not the easiest thing to kind of do on your own. It's not really difficult to do though either. Um, and it gets you off the computer just a little bit. So each day you do that, again, same calculation because you're reading for nine minutes. The increase comes from how quick are you moving your eyes? How quick are you moving your eyes across the page? How fast are you increasing your speed? Now, you can get to the point where you increase and you, you move your eyes really fast. And if you do that, you're really going to spike, as in this case here. We've got a person who was, uh, they, were, they were able to kind of increase their speed and increase their speed, but their brain always told them, hey, slow down. I want to I kind of pay attention to what I'm reading. As soon as you give up, comprehension, as soon as you're okay with just moving your eyes really quick over the page and not understanding it and disconnecting your brain from the reading, that's whenever you see these bigger spikes. Again, the longer you do this, um, it's like lifting weights or something. Uh, the more reps that you do of something, the better you get at it. Um, some of you might only have five days to do this. Some of you might be able to do this for 10 days. Some of you might be able to do this for 20 days. The longer you do it, the bigger the payoff. And right now with remote learning, it just depends on where you guys and gals are at. Some of you are really, really bored and will be able to do this for a long time. Some of you are really, really overwhelmed and might only have three days of reading. Um, but do this as many days as you can. Chart your data as often as you can. If you can, put the days uh, that, you, that you marked. Uh, sometimes you might go down. Your chart might go down instead of up. Um, if you have a headache, if you're reading at a different time of the day, if you're distracted, that kind of stuff. 
And then at the very, very end, what you're going to do is for your final, final baseline reading, for the very, very last time, 